بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم فیلو ہیومنس وی آر ایکسپلورنگ دا میننگ آف المنتقم ٹوڈے اللہ از دا گریٹ ایونجر اللہ پنش از دوز ہو پرسسٹ ان ریوالٹنگ ریونگ ان دیر انکانشیسنس اینڈ ایگوٹزم کریٹنگ ڈس ہارمنی ٹیرونائزنگ اللہ سروینس اینڈ ہز کریشن دیز آر دا ونس who are faithless and attribute partners to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He gives them time and occasions to realize and repent for their wrongdoings. He warns them with repeated warnings. He accepts their excuses. He delays their punishment in forgiving their faithless, in delaying their punishment. His eventual revenge becomes more terrible for the persistent sinner has had further chances to sin, thus making himself deserving of a severer punishment. Those who become the servants of their egos, instead of becoming Allah's servant, risk a terrible fall when they feel they are not punished for what they are doing. They are spoiled by Allah's mercy, soaring higher and higher in their arrogance, suddenly one day Allah brings them down. The fall becomes greater from such heights. Many tyrants were brought to great heights before they were smashed. Allah makes those upon whom He takes vengeance a lesson to those whom He wishes to save. People who know how to take revenge upon the enemies of Allah, the greatest being their own egos, reflect Allah's attribute, Al-Muntakim. Hazrat Bayezid Bastami says, One night I felt too tired and lazy to perform some of my devotions. I punished myself by not drinking water for a whole year. So Abdul Mantakim is he whose vengeance upon the enemies of Allah is terrible and who is most vengeful toward his own ego, which is the greatest enemy. So if a faithful person is tyrannized by an enemy of Allah who deserves punishment, reciting Ya Mantakim or Ya Kahar 1000 times a day, will remove the tyrant's power. Assalamu alaikum.